Hi, welcome to the Biomimetics Lab at the University of Auckland. Today we're showcasing a new type of device called an artificial muscle. We're going to demonstrate some of its most useful features. To see why an artificial muscle is different, think about most of the devices and appliances that you use. They're hard and stiff. The technical world is built around hard, whereas the biological world is soft and flexible. Artificial muscles are made of soft, electroactive polymers. They aren't biological, although they can be made to behave very much like biological muscles. We've discovered how to make many devices out of them, including sensors, switches, motors and generators. We can even build computers from artificial muscles. Over the next few years, we believe there will be a lot of soft, flexible products based on artificial muscles. Check out stretchsense.com for some products you can buy now. To see what this means, come and see our caterpillar, Trevor. He's the first and only one of his type in the world. Trevor eats electricity. If we give him a voltage, which comes up through his feet, that wakes him up and he moves. Trevor's caterpillar motion is driven by artificial muscles, supported in a skeleton-like plastic frame. The wave-like pattern is the result of an interaction between the muscles and the flexible zigzag tracks painted on their surfaces. There isn't any outside control box hidden away. Trevor does it all. Actually, we're pretty excited about this. It's the first time this has been achieved anywhere in the world. Now, Trevor's simple. All he does is creep forward when we feed an electric charge to his feet. But the same action can be used for soft fluid pumps or conveyors, a future generation of soft robotic devices that will be much easier to live with. Engineers will be able to design with soft and flexible parts rather than hard, rigid structures. We don't grow artificial muscles biologically. What we do is build them up in layers. We also use special 3D printers to build some of the complex structures needed in brains a bit more sophisticated than Trevor's. So that's a short tour of artificial muscles. It's a new technology that uses soft plastics to create biologically inspired soft robots and other soft components like sensors, motors, generators and switches. When you see a soft, flexible, perhaps cuddly robot in a few years, you'll know where it all started.